from this to this in just 10 minutes. Let me show you how you can color grade your drone videos from flat footage to amazing colors to recover details with any drone. Let's jump right into it. We are going to do three things. Color conversion, color correction and color grading. Don't worry, it's way easier than it sounds. First, you have to know which color profile you've used while filming with your drone. If you don't remember, just have a look at the SRT file. If your drone videos have been filmed in D-Log or D-Log M, we'll start with the color conversion. Otherwise, you can jump to step two, color correction. Make sure you're in the color panel of Premiere Pro. Our goal with color conversion is to retrieve the natural colors of our video. So to do this, we have to apply a lot. Let's start by creating an adjustment layer. Over this button, adjustment layer, press OK, and we move it on top of our clip. Click on it and in Lumetri Color we go to Look and choose Browse. Now we can select a conversion lot. You can download all of them for free in the first link in the description. Choose the right color profile for your drone. I filmed this clip with the DJI Mini 4 Pro in the D-Log M color profile. Compared to the flat image before, we now can see the colors and more contrast. And that's the perfect base to continue with the color correction. So let's go to step two. Make sure you're in the color panel of Premiere Pro. The goal of color correction is to get a natural white balance, saturation and brightness. And that's what we're going to do now. For this, we need the Lumetri Scopes panel. Go to the settings and just activate the waveform and choose waveform type Luma. So what you see here is just a graphic of the brightness of our video. In the upper parts, there are the highlights. In the lower parts, there are the shadows. So you can see this is our video from the left to the right. Left, you can see the highlights are very high, up to 100, because there's the sun. On the right, it's very dark because of these rocks. So this graphic helps us to achieve the perfect contrast and brightness. What we need now is an adjustment layer. We've created one before, but if you don't know how, you can just press new item, adjustment layer and OK. So we move this on top of our video. Don't worry if you only have one, this means you didn't need the color conversion, that's fine. All we need for color correction is the basic correction tab. So we start from the bottom. Because first the blacks. We want the blacks to be really black. So we drag them down a bit until they reach the zero level on our graph right here. Actually, we don't have to adjust them too much. Next, the whites, which means we could brighten up our image a bit. So not only the sun is on 100, but also maybe this area gets closer to 100 until we have a look that we like. The shadows go down to create more contrast. The highlights don't need to be adjusted too much. They can just stay at zero and contrast maybe a bit more. Now we see we have a big difference between this and that. So that means we have a good amount of contrast in our image. The saturation could definitely be a bit stronger. Last but not least, the white balance. We can activate in the Lumetri scope settings the parade and we can see there's more red in the highlights than blue which means our image tends to be warmer if you don't like a warm look you can now adjust the temperature to the left and get a cooler look this really depends on your personal style i don't need to adjust anything right now so let's continue now let's get to the most exciting part color grading in the first step we did color conversion the second step we did color correction. And now it's time for the most exciting part, color grading. So we just take a new adjustment layer, put it on top and then rename it to color grading. Our goal now is to achieve unique colors and to adjust the image to get the best quality possible. So there are two options. First, we can use a lot or second, we can do all the color grading on our own. We'll have a look at both of them. Let's start with a simple one, LUTs. You can just apply a LUT by one click here in the creative tab. And on look, we can just choose 
one of the pre-installed Premier Pro LUTs, or I have my six own LUTs, which you can also find in my store, which I use for all of my drone and camera shots. So I just choose browse and then I have my six LUTs. For this shot, I could imagine to use the signature LUT. Yes, I really love the colors. And then you can adjust the intensity to get the look that you want. After applying a LUT, we often have to go back to the color correction to again adjust the contrast with the shadows and whites to achieve our desired look. When the color grading is finished, we will use masks to recover the sky, to recover these mountains. But before we are going to do that, we will have a look at color grading without LUTs. So let's reset the color grading panel here and go for a normal color grading. So what I would do here first is go down to color wheels and match. And at sunset, I would like to have the highlights more red and orange. And the beautiful thing is that all the lights in this video, and I also mean like this bluish light compared to this orange light gets more orange and red. Second, what I always do is go to curves down to luma versus saturation. And all of these tables here are way easier than you might expect. I'll tell you that in a second. But first let's use luma versus saturation, which means we can choose a luminance and change the saturation of this luminance. So on the left side, we've got the dark area and on the right side, we've got the bright area. I want to adjust the dark area. So I set one point here to keep everything centered and one point at the left to drag it down. If you look closely, let me zoom in a bit. Here in the mountains, we get from the orange look back to a nice rocky black. <laughs> and that's important, so not everything in your video has the same color, but you have the contrast. And now let's have a look at these tables. What I don't like too much is that these waves have some kind of blue inside. So what we can do is go to this table right here, which means hue versus saturation. So we can choose a hue and change the saturation of this hue. We have the color picker and try to get the blue. As you can see, we've got three points and you can always adjust the middle point. And in this case, if we drag it up, we get more saturation, we drag it down, it gets desaturated. I could imagine to just add a point here and drag the darker blues down a bit too. So this looks pretty good so far. So as you see, we've got several options to achieve the look that we are going for. But for me, I always just use one of my six LUTs way faster and easier for me. But if you've got time and want to try color grading on your own, these are the most important graphs that you have to use. Let's get to one of my favorite parts, masks, to retrieve the sky, the rocks and so on. I would like to continue without the color grading that we did manually and just use my LUT. You can just keep the color grading that you've made right now, but I just prefer this look. What we can clearly see is that the sky is overexposed. And if I press Command Shift E, I can see that we actually do have information in the sky. So let's try to recover that. What we have to do now is to move up our three layers or two layers, depending on where you started, and we grab a new adjustment layer. You'll see in a second why we have to place them right here. So we can rename it to Skyfix. So now let's create a mask. We go to effect controls. We need a Lumetri color first. So let's click here at Lumetri color. And now we grab this pen right here. I also like to zoom a bit out. By the way, I recommend you to start from the end because we just have the bigger picture right here. So let's set some points, increase the feather. So now we try to track the mask. Let's see how that goes. Yeah, as we can see, that tracking was absolute shit. Let's go to the last point, undo it, activate the math path, mask path, and let's try to do it on our own. In the end, it's actually just this one. It has to be changed <laughs> way better, way better. And here comes the magic. What we have to do is go to basic correction and just lower the shadows 
lower the highlights. So if you just have a look at that. Before, after. What a huge difference. Now the question, why did we do Skyfix here on the bottom? Let's just have a look what it would look like the other way around. Let's say we would put it on the top. And you can see clearly that the sky still is blown out because Premiere Pro is calculating from the bottom to the top. So we first do the color conversion, then color correction, then color grading. And in these three steps, so many things have been adjusted. Yeah, and if we then try to recover the sky, so many information is lost. So we have to do it here at the bottom. And now you can continue. Add another adjustment layer, maybe mask the rocks and increase the shadows. Maybe draw a box around Cindy to make her stand out. If you want to see more videos like this, make sure to subscribe, leave a comment, and if you like this video, also a like. See you soon. By the way, what I also do in a color correction always is to increase the sharpness to around 20 to 30. This will really help you to achieve a sharper look.